Speaking at the opening ceremony, Dr. Didicus Jules, OECS Director General, said the theme of this year's meeting, Regional Development and Sustainability through Quality Education and Social Empowerment, was not only timely, but spoke to the shared mission of improving the quality of life for every citizen of the OECS. Dr. Didicus Jules says that education has the power to shape futures, but the current systems face challenges like outdated curricula, limited resources, and threats from climate change and economic shifts. However, he says these challenges are also opportunities for innovation and transformation. We must reimagine education as a tool for resilience, preparing our students not just for the jobs of today, but to become the shapers of their conscious destiny and not be the victims of a cruel world. It is not just about the jobs of today, but about the challenges of tomorrow. Our ongoing efforts in the OECS to build a digital learning ecosystem are a powerful step towards this. We are not merely modernizing our schools and seeking to make schools cool. We are safeguarding the future of our children. Likewise, Dr. Jewell says resilience is also needed in the health systems. He says that the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic showed that the strength of health systems is directly tied to the well-being of communities. Social empowerment is the glue that binds these efforts together. We cannot speak of progress without addressing the inequalities that divide us. When we empower every individual to fully participate in social, economic and political life, we create a society where opportunity is not a privilege, but a right. And it rec this empowerment is the foundation of sustainable human development. And it requires a multifaceted approach, strong legislation, active participation from all stakeholders, um, and a regional commitment to inclusivity. Additionally, Dr. Jules says accurate data is crucial for social empowerment. He says that the country poverty assessment, CPA, and census data are essential for measuring progress towards sustainable development goals, SDGs, monitoring social programs, ensuring governance accountability, and identifying and supporting families in need. With this in mind, Dr. Jules says several OECS member states have yet to complete their national census. Several of our member states are yet to complete their national census, delayed in part by the challenges of COVID-19. This census data is the backbone of policy making, reflecting the realities of our populations and ensuring that resource allocation is equitable and effective. The Organization of the Eastern Caribbean States, OECS 9th Council of Ministers Health, Human and Social Development and Education meetings is being held in St. Kitts. Ministers from Education, Health and Social Development hope to collaborate to create integrated policies that enhance citizen well-being and empowerment. For the DBS News World, Miriam Montout reporting.